Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Today we are diving into the world of ReSharper, a powerful extension for Visual Studio 2022 that can supercharge your development workflow. So whether you are new to ReSharper or just looking to brush up on the basics, this video is for you. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. First thing first, what is ReSharper? ReSharper is a productivity tool developed by JetBrains that enhances Visual Studio by providing features like code analysis, refactoring, navigation, and more. Its design is designed to help you write better code faster. So let's take a look at how we can download and install ReSharper inside our Visual Studio. But obviously, you have to make sure that you have Visual Studio installed, at least 2022 version as of this video, okay? So we open Visual Studio. We, we can open a Visual Studio blank or with, with a project. It doesn't really matter. And then we go to extensions and manage extensions. So here, we've got a bunch of extensions that we can install with our Visual Studio. And here we can also look at what, is the, what extensions that are installed on with the Visual Studio you have right now. And here, you can also get updates for your extensions. So, you, so whatever extension that is, that, that, is um, that has got an update, you, you can come here and you download and you update it, okay? So let's get back to what we are doing. So when you come to the browse, obviously this browse the internet for latest extensions that you can that goes with your Visual Studio. So most most of the time, um, uh, ReSharper is what appears on the browse first. But obviously, if it's not if that's not the case, yeah, you can you can you can search it ReSharper. You can set up and you can get a bunch of results, okay? So basically, that's the legend. I mean, that's the first one. It's the legendary.NET productivity tool that changed the way millions .NET developers explore, write, improve, and whatnot, okay? And we've got a bunch of them. So this is actually for C++. So you can also download and install this if you want to get um, some productivity tools inside your C++ project. Okay, so we we'll go ahead by clicking on the uh, ReSharper. We can click install here, install from here, or it will actually open the, the whole thing here. So here, you can you can explore further what you can do with the ReSharper and what the ReSharper is all about. Okay, so now we're going to click on the install. We click on that um, install. It has actually downloaded the ReSharper for us. So let's go ahead. So as you can see, it has downloaded it for us. So let's click on this link. So you go to your, once um, you click on that, you go to your default browser to, to check the download. So once we click on it, yeah, it's actually being downloaded for us now, okay? So we gotta wait, I mean, we gotta wait for a while. So you can go grab a coffee and do, I mean, it might take a while, I mean, depending on the speed of your internet, so. What I'm going to do is pause the video while the whole thing downloads. So now we've got a download completed. So let's go ahead and install it. So as you can see here now, you can add a bunch of stuff to it. I mean, like the one I showed on you on, on the Visual Studio earlier on. So basically, we're just going to select um, to install the, the ReSharper 2024, okay? So we, we accept the, the terms and then we click on the next. So here, you'll be, I mean, you have like, you have um, what products that you want to install your ReSharper in. In my case, I've got the Visual Studio 2023 community version. Yeah, so that's the one that is going to be installed. I mean, that's, that's where my ReSharper is going to be installed, okay? So we click on the install. 
So it's now installing. It might take a while, so I'm, I'm going to pause the video once again. But sometimes, yeah, you'll be asked to actually close the Visual Studio, so it's important that I do it right now. So make sure while it's installing, you close your Visual Studio any open the visual studio okay so i'm just going to pause the video so now we've got the installation successful completed successfully let's click on the exit and let me close the browser okay let let's open the visual studio so i'm, I'm just going to pause it and open the visual studio so as you can see the, the visual studio is being opened so i might take it might take a while, so I'm going to have to pause the video. Okay, it's open now. So here, obviously, let's click on continue without code. So now we get the, the licensing stuff. Yeah, so let's scroll down and accept alliances you can print it if you want and then send user statuses you can you can check that if you want i'm not going to so here obviously this is i mean if you've got um, alliances then you can put you can put your account details here and whatnot yeah but if you haven't then you can you can start the trial which i'm going to use for this video so now i'm just it's open the browser i'm just going to close the browser so right now we've got the, the the start. I mean the trial edition started. Yeah. So we're just gonna click. Okay. So here this is what we get. Yeah. So this to set your reshop shortcuts. Okay. So you select your ID, which is recommended. So basically for Visual Studio, this is the shortcuts we've got. So our Control Al 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 comma Al is a rename. So control T is to go to everything and F12 is to go to declaration. Yeah. So let's click on OK. So I mean this page has opened again. So let's I mean click on OK. Let's see what actually happens. So it's not, it is now applying the key. So I'm just going to pause the video. So now, as you can see, we've got this also opened automatically for us while um while um the, the the video was paused. So let's click on extensions. So as you can see here now, we've got Reshap appeared. Yeah. So here, obviously, you you can you can look at all the the, the menus of um of Reshap. You can go to choose here, and then you can you can set your regular expressions and and whatnot. So let's click on the options. So here, obviously, you can you can actually configure your reshaper to see whatever you're doing. Okay. So here you've got keyboard, the editor, the search and navigation, intelligence and whatnot. Okay. We're not going to look too much into all of this here. But what I'm going to do is 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 leave the video here so that you can explore it yourself further. If you don't understand anything, please drop a line and I'll do my best to respond to you. So have a lovely morning, evening, wherever you are. Stay blessed. Peace.